Yo, what is going on guys, Nelik here, I hope you're all having a good day. As you can see by the title of this video, yes we are going to be looking at the brand new Call of Duty World War 2 lobby screen and everything that is currently in it. Now obviously there are certain versions of the game that are out at the moment so we may not be seeing everything that the game has to offer but it is our very first look at the lobby screen and I do not believe any other YouTuber out there has uploaded footage like this just yet. So a couple things before we get to the footage, I just want to give a massive shout out to Jack's Style 1337 He is the Reddit user that shared this footage with us, so a big props to him. Coming in clutch, providing the boys with the good footage. Secondly, share this video with your friends because I'm sure every COD fan out there would love to see their very first look at the Call of Duty World War 2 lobby screen. It's really exciting just to see the way the game is laid out and how everything's going to work within the lobby screen like creating classes or just selecting calling cards and emblems and that so definitely share it with all your friends out there other than that I think it's time to look at the footage so what you are looking at right now is the leaked footage that we were provided with on reddit now this guy is on the PlayStation and pretty much he said the way he got into it is he already had the beta key somehow I'm not really sure how he's gotten it if he's gone into EB Games and got the code somehow, or if he's got an email early. But he just said that he had the code, he went and activated it on the PlayStation Store, and then he downloaded the private beta, and lo and behold, once it loaded up, he was actually into the lobby screen. Now, for all of you wondering if he was actually able to get into, like, a game, I don't think so, because all the servers should be down at the moment, and the only way you'll be able to play is on, like, a LAN if you're at an event, like Gamescon or something like that. So no, he couldn't find a TDM or something like that, but he was able to look at everything in the lobby screen on this current build. Alright, so I'm going to skip through the video just a little bit because this Call of Duty WW2 private beta like loading screen actually went on for quite a while. Um, I think that's just because that he's not really meant to be accessing the beta just yet. I don't think it'll take that long when the full game is actually out, but yeah, I'm just going to skip through right now, so give me a second. Alright, now that we are on the main lobby screen, I'm going to pause it real quick just so you guys can see what it says. Pretty much, it has a bunch of different categories up the top. It says news, fine match, soldier, social, store, and settings. We are currently on the news tab, and basically it says message of the day. Welcome to Call of Duty WW2 multiplayer. And then it has a little poster. It says to victory, prepare yourself for the front, join the fight, see your operations officer today. So I absolutely love seeing new Call of Duties, and just seeing this gets me really, really excited for the beta in a couple days. I'm going to resume the video just so we can see what's next. So now we're on the fine match tab. The only thing that we can select at the moment is public match and it says join an unranked public battle, choose to fight in a variety of modes and maps. So that's what I believe we're going to see in the beta build. Um, we're only going to be able to select public match. I'm pretty sure they've got like private match, custom match, ranked play, like all that good stuff in the full game. So we're going to see a bunch of different categories in this certain tab in the full game. Moving on, we have the Soldier tab, and inside of it we have the Divisions, Score Streaks, and the Dossier. I'm not sure if I said Dossier right, but just bear with me. In the Divisions tab, straight up, you got the Airborne Division selected, and you can see our character on screen right there. It looks really, really cool. You have the vehicles in the background, and we're just in a really war zone scenery. As you can see, everything's like blown up in the background. It looks absolutely sick, I'm not going to lie. But we do have our calling cards and our emblems on the right side of the screen. It says rank progress just below it, so obviously when you're ranking up, you will see that probably move like a little XP bar or something. Letting the video play out for a bit, he moves into the score streaks, and you can see that there is like recon aircraft, glide bomb, artillery barrage, and then a bunch of different options that you can choose for that point cost. So for the 500, there's different ones you can choose from. For 650, you can choose different ones, so on. Depending on how good the score streak is, obviously the points is going to be higher. We've seen this before in a lot of older Call of Duties. I think score streaks is the best way to go because a lot of people, the ones that aren't really good at the game, they struggle getting kill streaks. And the fact that you can have a score streak if you play Domination, if someone's a really good OBJ player, they just go out, cap the flags, and then get their score streaks that way. So it kind of makes it fair for everyone playing the game. But yeah, I like that they're going with score streaks. Moving on to Dossier, that's actually where we can look at our faces, calling cards, emblems, and our clan tag. Now, 
bear in mind this is probably what we're going to be seeing in the beta this isn't everything so once again in the full game we're going to see a lot more faces calling cards and all that stuff and probably later on when they bring out new weapons during the year because i really think they will be doing stuff like that again we'll see like new faces and new characters and all that come into the game so going into the faces category there are five different people to choose from there are two girls three boys and yeah that's pretty much all there is in faces it just changes your appearance they're probably characters throughout the campaign that we will see or maybe they're just random people that they have made i'm not really sure but next we have the calling cards and there is a total of nine calling cards in the standard issue category you can see just under the word calling cards that you can press l1 or r1 to swap the category so there's probably going to be like limited edition calling cards moving calling cards just all different types of categories but the calling cards that we see on screen we're just going to scroll through them so you guys get a good look at them all and yeah it's really cool just to see the artwork that they've put behind it next we have the emblems now we don't get long to look at this so i'm gonna put it in slow-mo for you guys but the emblems that we do have is the sledgehammer games logo and then the five divisions and then if you equipped any of them, obviously you can see down the bottom right that that's what it will look like. And then moving on, we have the clan tag. And obviously we all know what a clan tag does. You just type in a like four letter word and boom, you've got a little clan tag next to your name and you can play with your friends and everyone will know you're in a clan. The next tab we have is the social tab. And obviously social just means like all your friends and you can invite your friends. It looks pretty simple to invite people. It looks like you just click on their name and you'll be able to send an invite. Hopefully it doesn't go through all that BS where it takes you to a new screen and then you have to click invite again. Hopefully you just click on their name and it says invite sent. If it's as simple as that, then I'm going to be so happy and it's just gonna be less stressful waiting for that next screen to pop up. Click the invite. Someone doesn't accept the invite, then you'll do it all over again. So yeah, next tab we have the store and that's just gonna show off the different editions of the game that you can buy. I'm not sure what currency that is. I'm thinking it's Danish or something like that. And all that writing's in Danish as well. Could be wrong, correct me if I am wrong. But the last tab that is on here is the settings tab and it has your controls, your graphics, your audio, and your console info. So just going into the controls, you can have a look at all the different types of things you can do. You can take off things like auto mantle, and like auto weapon switch and stuff like that they're just like a bunch of good options to alter your gameplay or just to get rid of something that may throw off your game so like if you're running and i think there's one where like if you run it cancels your reload or something like that i think in like enable or disable that so if you're a person that wants to cancel the reload when you're running then i think there is an option for that or if you just want to leave it like normal then obviously you just leave it in the graphics you have your brightness your safe area and your minimap rotation Obviously, just the usual things that you'd see inside of the graphics tab. Audio, pretty simple, guys. Like, I just want to show it in detail, but it's pretty simple. You've seen it all before. You just got game volume, music, announcer, etc. You can see it for yourself. And then console info. I don't actually think they click onto console info just because they probably don't want to show it on the video. But yeah, that is our first look at Call of Duty World War II lobby screen. Um, he then goes ahead and tries to find a game in which it brings up a bunch of different game modes including team deathmatch domination hardpoint mosh pit and war so that is also really cool to see now i think he clicks on team deathmatch to find a game but obviously servers are down at the moment they shouldn't be up at all until the beta is released but yeah that is what it looks like to find a game and leave the lobby if you guys like this video make sure to give it a massive thumbs up i just thought this was really really cool to come across and share with you guys like i said share it with your friends get this video out there let everyone see what it looks like before it actually comes out hope you all have a good day see you guys later peace Put your fucking hands up